Hi, I'm Mally Dosdell with We Are Memory Keepers, and I'm here at scrapbook.com to share a project with you using the new Stitch Happy sewing machine. This machine has both paper crafters and sewers in mind um, and has a lot of interesting features that are different from your typical sewing machine. First of all, there's this nice alignment guide down here for sewing straight on paper. You can use thick thread and baker's twine and metallic thread um, and all those would jam up a regular sewing machine. It's got an enhanced motor so it can go through several layers of thick material. Um, it's got a nice handy drawer here for storing extra thread and needles. You can also clean out um, the parts of the sewing machine so your little paper bits don't get stuck in there. Um, and it's just super lightweight, easy to carry around, um, but it's really sturdy. The inside it has a nice strong metal frame. So I'm gonna show you how to make a mini album using the card kit, the Stitch Happy card kit. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to sew on those pages. Using the Stitch Happy card kit, I made a fun little mini album with pictures of me and my daughter. And I added stitching around the borders of each page using the Stitch Happy sewing machine. So I'm going to show you how to do that using the card kit. When you get your sewing machine, it comes with an instruction manual and a little card that's underneath the foot of the sewing machine that tells you to be sure to read the entire manual before you start using it. That's very important so you don't um, cause damage to your machine. I highly recommend going through the entire manual first and then you'll feel comfortable using the machine. So now I'm going to sew a border on this card from the card kit um, and I used the cards from the card kit and just kept them folded and stitched them shut so that you see the pattern on both sides because I used both sides of these pages in my album. So I've got my card here. I'm just going to slide it under and I've got my alignment guide right here on the lowest setting to help me stitch straight. I'm going to pull my foot down. I've got it set on the large zigzag stitch and I'm using this beautiful mint baker's twine um, on my project. So the first thing you want to do whenever you start sewing is turn the hand wheel towards you until the needle goes all the way down and through your project to get the needle set. Then you can start sewing your project. I love how this alignment guide keeps your paper nice and straight. So now when we get to the end here, we're going to roll it back, put that back needle back in the hole, and then we're going to lift up the foot and just switch that around so it's going this way. Put your foot back down and keep sewing. Lift the foot, turn it around and start again. Lift the foot, turn it around, put it back down and we'll start our last side. Now when I get to the end, I like to use the hand wheel just to make sure I stop where I want. Then I lift that needle up to the highest point, pull the foot up and we're gonna release the tension lever that lets the thread loose and pull that right out. And then we can cut it or you can use this cutting feature right here on the machine. And now that you've finished sewing, you're going to take both sets of ends and just tie those in a double knot and trim them really short so that your project doesn't come unraveled on you. And then you're just going to add your embellishments um, and your photos and um, then we're going to make them up into a cute album in the next lesson. So thanks for joining me learning how to use the Stitch Happy sewing machine.